Die with Zero by Bill Perkins. Summary from 4-Minute Books. Written by Maria Diak and read to you by Christine Sinecor. One-sentence summary. Die with Zero teaches us that wealth accumulation isn't the only aspect of our life that we should be chasing, but rather keep an eye on meaningful experiences, our relationships, and the limited time we have on Earth. Favorite quote from the author. First of all, yes, you can certainly leave money to the people and causes you care about. But the truth is that those people and causes would be better off getting your wealth sooner rather than later. Why wait until after you die? Bill Perkins. We've all heard the expression of living a life worth living. But what does that really mean? Well, Die With Zero by Bill Perkins is here to teach you that. There's a fundamental issue with the rush for money, a better reputation, a bigger house, and all those traditional success metrics we've learned. We're missing out on the most important part. In the end, everyone wants to be happy. However, we postpone that happiness, thinking that if we keep pushing hard and accumulating more, will eventually get everything we want. Instead of seeing them as a means to an end, we keep looking for money, fame, and possessions, instead of focusing on living a meaningful and prosperous life. Let's explore three lessons from the book that will help us live better, happier lives. 1. Invest in timeless memories, not in fading success. 2. Spend your money while you're still here to enjoy them, while still taking care of your children. 3. Interest accrued on invested money can help you secure your financial future faster. Now let's delve deeper into these lessons and explore ways to live more meaningfully, while also saving for retirement. Lesson 1. A good life comes with meaningful memories and remarkable experiences not with more cash. Frankly, delayed gratification is overrated, and comfortable retirement is an illusion. After all, will you be enjoying hiking in the mountains and boating around Rome in your 60s the same way you would in your 30s? I think not. That's the idea behind Die With Zero. Instead of spending your life saving everything for your retirement, you should keep saving and live a life full of experiences, while still enjoying the comforts that come with a secure financial future. The greatest investment you can make is in yourself and your life experiences. The main idea behind this book is to live a fulfilling life today, as well as in the future. You don't have to compromise your retirement for a meaningful life today. Instead, Make a plan and save some money for your experiences when you're young, too. In this life, nothing is promised. We don't know how long our journey will be. So make sure to take that trip to Europe. Backpack your way around your favorite state. Go skydiving. Or do whatever it is you want to do. Don't postpone your happiness and invest in memories when you're young, too. Lesson 2. Die with Zero while still taking care of your children's inheritance. The author suggests that we shouldn't be working for free. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look at the average American working for $19 an hour. If you save $16,000 from your average salary of $49,000, that makes $770,000 saved for retirement. Say you die before spending everything, and you have $130,000 left in your bank. That's almost two and a half years of free work. Now, the point isn't to spend everything before you die or leave your kids with no inheritance. However, what if you were to give them money throughout your life? They could use it while they're young adults and make a better life out of it, or invest them in experiences. The point is to be smart about your money choices while still securing your financial future. Give your kids what you feel comfortable giving away and spend the rest. If you're afraid of developing an expensive illness, 
Studies show that it's cheaper to pay insurance throughout your life than to save it in case it happens. Not only is it more predictable from a financial point of view, but it also helps you save the rest for experiences and time with loved ones. Take some time to come up with the right amount for your kids, then make sure to use the rest to enjoy life as it is while still saving for your retirement. Now, before we get into lesson number three, I want to give a quick shout out to Shortform. Shortform aims to provide the most in-depth book summaries on the planet, and therefore, their extensive book guides cover not three, not ten, but all the important ideas from a book. They even include useful exercises to make sure you'll actually implement the ideas in your life. If you're the kind of person who wants to get the absolute most out of any book they read, Shortform is the perfect tool for you. Use our affiliate link below this video to sign up for a free 5-day trial and secure a 20% discount should you keep your subscription. You'll also support the channel at no extra cost, as we'll get a small commission for referring you. Sign up today and start learning right away. And with that, back to the video. Lesson 3. Securing your financial future and a steady retirement might be easier than you think. There is a way to make the most out of your money so that it lasts longer and secures your future. And it all starts with learning to leverage what you've already set aside through the power of interest rates. As you start investing and buying assets, your money grows through the power of compound interest. So what you've put aside for your retirement will grow into more than just the net savings you've computed. To harness the power of interest, all you need to do is automate payments toward your broker of choice or invest in assets like a house or an apartment that will grow its value in time. Simply deduct your monthly expenses and save the rest for such investments. As you set this money aside for your retirement, it will accrue interest. Now, you'll need to compute how much of it you need to live comfortably a year and multiply it with a round value such as 20 years. That's the amount you need for retirement, given no change in variables. Since you've decided to go with a health insurance plan, that'll save you money in the long run in case something happens. You already know how much you need to live comfortably in your senior years. Now, the interest rate you'll accumulate will not only strengthen this scenario, but also help you have some extra cash in case. If you can compute these numbers, either by yourself or with a financial planner, your financial life will become much easier. You'll also get a final number of how much you have left to spend, and you won't feel guilty investing in experiences and living a meaningful life. Hey, this is Nick, the founder of 4-Minute Books, and if you learned something new from this book summary, I'm sure this next one will also be right up your alley with new and insightful ideas. Click on over and let's keep learning.